uh, examining the factors that are responsible for the population increase. We've already touched on them at the beginning, but now we are looking at them to give us a, a good sense of how they're impacting the population increase that is really making the continent very attractive in terms of numbers very attractive because it becomes good for consumption obviously for a number of things uh, to happen on the continent you need population to be going in the right direction so let's take a look at those factors now the first factor then we are examining here is uh, infant mortality rate as we have established at the beginning mortality means death and infant obviously that's children so we want to look at uh, the rate at which children are dying, right? Because that is a very good indicator as to whether population is on the rise. It says here a major reason for the increase in population is the reduction, right? So one number is going down, another number is going up. And the number that is going down is more important uh, for us to understand why that is happening, right? So the reduction in the rich children are dying. In the infant mortality rate. Now let's take a look at the numbers here. It says the rates have declined from 183 deaths, right, for every 1,000 births in 1950 1955 to 69 for every 1,000 births, right, 69 deaths for every 1,000 births to 2010, 2020, 2015. Now this is more than a hundred percent decline in death rates, right, and this is uh, this is good news. This is very good news that children are dying less after birth, dying less after birth, and that is adding to the population increase. Now, the, the logical question then is, why are they dying less? What has changed from 1950 to the last five, 10 years? What has changed? A lot has changed because now women have access to health. Expectant mothers have access to prenatal care, which is very critical. The health of the child does not begin when the child is born. It begins at pregnancy. So ensuring healthy pregnancy is very key to having a healthy child when the child is born. So women have access to doctors now. Uh, they have access to great health care and, and they have access to information as well. Please take note. They have access to information as well that is informing healthy choices. And especially in this age, now take a look at the time we're looking at 2010-15, this is the age of information. This is social media time, right? This is the global economy and, and, and the globalization and so forth. So women have access to information out there on how to have a healthy pregnancy. And children have access to health as well once they're born. They have access to immunizations that are very critical to, to as defense against a lot of diseases that claim children at the early age. From the age from birth to five are so critical for children, especially in developing countries, such as African countries, that those years are very important to ensure that they have what it takes, nutritious food, the medication and the immunization they have, and the good, great care they, they need to, to get past that challenge in it at one to five uh, years. So this is the reason why children are living longer. Now let's take a look at this graph right here that, that will give us a bit more insight globally as to where Africa is uh, when compared to other regions. So here is 1950, right? So we begin uh, in the period of 1950 to 1955, and you see the, 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 the continents are stacked up here. Africa is the highest here, right? Uh, competing actually with Asia in the 1950-1955 uh, time period. Now, the, the yellow line is Africa. So Africa is steadily declining as we progress to the 21st century. As we progress, it's declining. It's a little bit of an incline here, right? But then it declines further and declines and then declines, etc. So we're here now. This is 2020, 2025. So we're here now. And you can see the number, right? You can see the number here. We're here now, somewhere here. So you can see the number about 69, right? And that will be correct, 69. But then there's good news, further good news, which is as we go down the century, into the middle of the century, those numbers are still declining. They are not steady, but they are declining, as you can see. And then the projection is by 2040, 2045, the continent is here. We're looking at 38 to 40 deaths per 1,000 births, right? So this number is further decreased. It's further reduction in this number by almost 30, which is very good news. Now, in terms of the other continents, let's take a look at the green here is, uh, is Asia. It's also declining. 
a little bit of an increase here, but declining as well. And we're here with Asia, uh, which this is 2020, and the continent, the continent is here about 40 deaths per 1,000. And then for the, for the decline or uh, decrease here, as we, as we approach the mid-century, same thing for uh, Latin America, the same trend, right? Decreases significantly than Africa and Asia, Latin America, that is, significant decrease. And then, of course, uh, as expected, the developed country, this is the developed countries right here, total decrease, right? The numbers are very low, right? Even at the beginning, it was 60. Uh, from 1950 to 1955, this period, it was 60 deaths per 1,000. The decline is very, very clear and very drastic, as we can see here. Uh, and then the projection is by this time period, uh, the decline is, is almost zero. It's not never going to be zero, but almost zero. So this is good news, right? This is very good news. So uh, in terms of the wall average, this is the wall, the blue line is the wall, to give us a sense of where the continents and regions uh, are in relation to the wall. So you can see here Latin America and the, and, the, and the developed countries are way below the global average, right? The world average. And then Asia and Africa are above the global average. Although Asia is a little bit below the global average here, etc., which is good news, but almost at par with the global average, I should say. So this gives us a sense of, of the role infant mortality plays in increase of population as children live beyond five and, and get into the adolescent and become adults, they become contributing citizens. They increase the population just by their existence. And then of course they get married and they increase the population in that way as well. So this is a very important indicator of population increase on the continent.